Hey guys, Mr. Jalapeno here with another episode of Jalapeno Caulking. On today's little DIY project, I'm going to show you how to repair these cracks where the drywall bumps up against the window frame. The homeowners are getting ready to start setting up all the Christmas stuff and they just want everything looking nice and fresh. The other windows around the house don't look too bad except for these south facing windows. So what you want to do is get yourself a utility blade and you're going to want to remove the old caulking that was there before. Just be super careful. You don't want to cut yourself. And so what this is going to do is that it's just going to allow the caulking to adhere better and it's just going to look better overall. You could just caulk over the old caulking, but it's not going to last long and it's not going to look good. Then you're just going to tape everything off. That way you don't get any paint or any caulking on the window frame. And as you can see, I laid down the blue tape about an eighth of an inch away from the wall. By doing that, it's just going to give me a nice straight paint line around the window frame. This is super helpful in case you don't have years of experience of cutting in with the paintbrush. But anyways, now it's caulking time. I strongly recommend you get this extreme stretch caulking by DAP. It expands 600%, so it's going to be super helpful in case there's any movement here in the future. Just make sure you fill in those cracks really good. It's a bit pricier than the other types of caulking, but I think it's well worth it. And so the caulking serves two purposes here. One obviously is to fill in the cracks, and the other one is that it's going to create a nice Nice seal between the blue tape so that the paint doesn't bleed through once I you start brushing. I also always recommend to have a damp rag on you when caulking. It could get messy so it's always helpful to have a rag on you. And see look I pushed all the caulking into the crack so there's no more voids anymore. And I waited about five minutes before I started painting. I don't want to wait too long because what ends up happening is that once the caulking dries 100% it kind of gets stuck to the blue tape and then it's just going to be a mess. You're not going to have nice straight lines. So I recommend not to wait too too long before painting. Just be super cautious not to pull the cock out since it's not 100% dry and then look I'll pull the tape look no bleed through nice straight lines just be super careful when pulling the blue tape remember you don't want to pull out that caulking and look at that that's what I'm talking about nice straight lines like I said this is super helpful for people who don't necessarily have years and years of painting experience but if you follow these steps you're going to have great end results it's going to end up looking like you've had years of experience and to say that if you do this it's never going to crack again I'd probably be lying but it will definitely last longer than what they had there before let let me know if there's a better caulking I could use for these types of repairs in the comments. And so if you want to find more information on the products I use in my videos, go to the link in my bio or video description and click on the Amazon storefront and you could find all the products I use there. And so I ended up doing six windows around the house, all south facing windows. Let me know in the comments also if you know why that happens, but that's pretty much it. Jalapeno Solutions. Boom.